Record. Okay, so welcome. Tracy Warren here for our Power of Three call tonight, Monday, sorry, Tuesday, May 5th. And I, I was just thinking I was making myself a cup of tea before I, the call. And this is seriously one of my favorite times of the whole week in my beach body business. I love getting on calls with you guys. And um, I am excited about what we've got on our little agenda for tonight. I will tell you up front, I did not go through and go over recognition. I usually, there are times at the very beginning of the month where I'll do that, but I much prefer to do it toward the end of the month when there's a lot um, already on the board. So I am going to use the suggestions that you guys had given us um, on our Diamond Dash page for tonight's call. So hopefully it will be applicable and helpful to each one of you. Um, there are, as this is our regularly scheduled team call time, there are people who are currently in Diamond Dash on the call and those who are not in Diamond Dash on the call and are newer. And still, I think this will be valuable for everybody. So here's what I've got on our little agenda, and then we will dig right in. And for tonight, please, please, if you have questions, go ahead and pop in. If you want to type in the, in the chat or just interrupt me, totally fine with that. Um, the most important thing is that you leave the call having had some nuggets of value that you can put into place right away. And um, so that's the way we're going to handle it. Okay, so let's see. And I um, definitely, I don't, I haven't gone through to see, you know, like how long going through these things would take, but um, it, it should not be more than an hour long call by any means. Okay. Okay. So what I've got is talking about adding value and we all were going to have an invite script ready. What I would actually like to do is load those to the, um, power of three page and I'm going to start a thread currently. Um, let me pull that up and that way um, and then I'll also, for those of you who are not on the Power of Three page, I'll copy that, that thread onto our team page so that you can benefit from that as well. But um, let's see, Power of Three, I'm going to start that thread. So bring your best invite script to the table. Post below. Okay, so here's the deal. Do not be afraid to post. I can see that some people will be like, oh, well, gosh, I don't want to post what I've been writing. It hasn't been working for me so far. Why would I want to share it with everybody else? Um, but here's the thing. If you don't share it, then A, you can't have positive feedback, which I guarantee you will have some. And um, B, you won't by not doing that, you're not going to gain any self-confidence, right? So let people hit like on your in on your invite comment, okay, and get some self-confidence. Um, just simply share what you've been saying to somebody to invite them, whether it's to a free group, a challenge group, to a sneak peek, to a try shakeology, whatever. It doesn't matter. Just um, if you're on that Power of Three page, please comment below, and I will also add mine on there as we finish up the call. Okay, so there's that, and then um, we're going to talk about inviting for more than one thing at a time, which and talk and kind of in combination with that, managing multiple groups, organizing YouTube. I'm going to screen share and let you see how to do that. That has really been a big save time saver for me this past week, and then um, recirculating content. Okay, so let's dig right in. First thing we're going to talk about is adding value. What does that mean? What does that look like? Um, one thing that comes to mind is that it's always amazing to me how little people actually know. <laughs> and the reason I say that is not to be like nasty or um, snooty. It's to make the point that um, here's a great example, classic example. Today, throughout the day, my dad was sending me texts of pictures that he had taken at the gym that would say like, um, myth, women 
bulk up when they lift weights. To me, that's like, duh, of course that's a myth. Women aren't going to bulk up when they lift weights. You know, like that to me seems like something everybody on the planet by now in 2015 should know that right now. But somehow they don't. And somehow they don't know that drinking water all day long is good for them. So I think that um, adding value doesn't have to be complicated. And once we are in this Beachbody family for a while and we are a little bit more educated than the general population, we start to think that adding value has to be some really big grand production. And it just doesn't. Um, so that's lesson number one, I think. Don't discount the things that you yourself already know and do every day. And I think those are probably the most valuable things that we can add to people. Um, even as coaches, and that's something that still I struggle with, um, just trying to pass along the, the little things that I do every day that make my day runs smoother and more efficient and more effective. And um, those are the things that you, you, I know that you understand what I'm saying. Like those are the things that you wish you could just peek into somebody else's house and see what they were doing. Right? So you see somebody who's super ultra fit and you think, man, I wish I would look like her. I wonder what she eats every day. And there are people that wonder that about you. There are people that wonder, what she does every day with her, you know, like for me, how does she homeschool and run a business? Um, so if I can share those little things, then that would add value to people. Or i um, trying to think. Whatever it is that you do, you know, like how does she work full time and still get up at five in the morning to exercise? Um, People want to know how you make it work, how you make it happen, um, how you find the healthy articles. Like, Kim, I don't know how you come up with all the articles that you do for me. Like, I, I have no clue. That would be handy to me to know how, how to even find these healthy things. <laughs> Um, I don't even know how to find all the recipes, you know? Um, so those are things that just add value to people. And they're, they're always so curious. Good night. Love you guys. You need to say hi. Okay. Wave. Get your little face up there. Okay. That's precious. Okay. Good night. Love you. Um, Okay, so that is what we're talking about when we're adding value to people. And that could also be inspiration, motivation. Uh, people want to see a lot of us. They want to see your pictures. Um, sometimes they want to see them sweating, not all the time. Sometimes they want to see what you look, look like when you clean up, you know. Um, <laughs> people want to know that you're human. Um, and that adds value to people. So people love tips. They love what your favorites are. I'm looking at my little cheat sheet up here, okay, which maybe that would add value to you. I have a cheat sheet from um, Amy Porterfield's Jumpstart Marketing, and it's just got like 20 engaging posts. So people want to know, um, These are mostly things that would engage other people, and we can talk about that another time. And I think I've posted that on our team page before. But people just want to know about you. People are curious and they're nosy, you know, like putting out your whole um, little reality TV show on Facebook. They love that. I will say, this is a good caveat to remember try and keep the negative stuff to a minimum and when you do have to post that okay this is my real life and it stinks always share how you're overcoming that real life stinky moment um so that they see that you are putting up a positive spin on it and um yeah Anything else on adding value? Was there anything else that we were, that was a question surrounding adding value? Because part of that is, you know, uh, 
on social media. And part of that is adding value to your coaches. And that's two totally separate things. What I was talking about mainly was adding value on social media. Questions, comments there? I can't remember specifically who asked that question and if I've addressed the answer. Okay, well, we'll move on. And if you guys think of anything, then you can talk, um, type it into the chat. I'm trying to think if there's anything else there. Hey, value. I think the main thing there is just to be intentional. And not that you have to schedule the actual post, but to schedule um, maybe a list, you know, like at the beginning of, of the week, here are some of the things that I would like to add value with and um, try and get through my social media this week. That can tie into one of the other topics tonight, which is recirculating content. And um, what Brendan Burchard talks about, and I've heard other people now, it's kind of filtering down to other social media experts, is recirculating content and basically the thinking there. And I heard Shalene talking about it on one of her podcasts this, this week, actually, um, where what she'll do at the beginning of the week or at some point is record about 15 minutes worth of her exercising with no sound. And then she'll take snippets of that and make, make it into different 15 second, 30 second, one minute videos. And so since she's in the same outfit, she'll spread that out over several weeks, you know, so that you're not showing up in the same outfit every week. I'm at the point where, you know, honestly, I don't really care. <laughs> Um, it, obviously if I had a bunch of cute outfits, I might care a little bit more, but I'm doing good just to get something out there. So for me to care about what outfit is probably not top of my priority list, but, um, anyway, something to think about if you did want to go around that, you know, like maybe this week, if you're exercising in a different outfit each day of the week, go ahead and record yourself, um, for 10, 15 minutes and be able to cut some snippets out of that. And use that for the next month or the next six weeks for that matter, you know? Um, I think that's a great idea. And there are different video editing tools that you can use, and that can be another call. Um, I have personally been using – my phone is not sitting right here. I'll post it. I'll put. Beep, I'll post the little video app that I've been using, and I think it's super handy. And um, it allows you to trim down your video really easily. Facebook especially likes video that is not the YouTube link. So if you can upload it directly from your phone, then even better, or from your computer, then Facebook will uh, get into the into the feed more likely than a YouTube link. But that's another way that you recirculate. First, you show it on Facebook from your phone. Then you show it on Facebook from the YouTube link. And then you talk about the video without posting the video. And then another day, you have a still shot of a picture with you talking about something slightly different with that same content. So that is the point is to create some good content at the beginning of the week and then each day you use it a little bit differently. So for me, there are times when I will make one good recipe at the beginning of the week. Like I'll spend time making something good and then I'll take really good pictures of that one recipe and then I'll upload it to Pinterest one day. And then the next day I'll share the Pinterest link on my Facebook. And then I'll have the video because I videotaped myself preparing that meal. That'll be uploaded to YouTube. Maybe on one day it'll be loaded to Facebook directly from my phone. The next day the video of me making it will be loaded to Facebook via the YouTube link. Okay, are you getting to see um, maybe it's going to your blog post and one day it the blog post is shared to Facebook. So you're creating one bit of valuable content at the beginning of the week and then you are interspersing it in different ways throughout your entire week. 
doing that consistently over time is going to be a big following builder for all these different social media platforms, whatever your focus is. Um, my personal feeling is if I'm going to share it to one and the content's already done, I might as well share it to a couple of other. Um, I may not spend time, you know, like I, if I'm going to post the photo to Instagram, maybe I'll post the photo, but maybe I'm not going to spend time putting a bunch of hashtags on it, that kind of thing. So you still want to be, you know, actively present on maybe two, but don't feel like you have to be everywhere all the time. Questions about doing that and sort of that flow? Uh, Tracy? Yes. Have you ever, I heard this once before on uh, putting up posts. Have you ever uh, heard of reposting older posts? Yes. In the past that had really great uh, responses because who's going to really, really remember? Yeah, nobody. Here's okay. the thing. Truly, if you go back into your seven or 800 photos on your phone, don't you go back then and you're like, oh man, that was really that was great. great. <laughs> I forgot that I did that. And I swear if I forgot, Lord knows everybody else is way long forgotten. And then right. only 16% of them saw it anyway. So I totally am for that reposting stuff. Do I do it often? Hardly ever because I even forget to repost my own stuff. Um, that said, we ought to just, you know, when you're creating your little schedule and you can pull up on Google, you can pull up templates, social media scheduling templates. Like if you Google that, you'll come up with little calendar type things. Um, I mean, obviously it's not going to be that hard. I've lately just been using my, like my monthly calendar, you know, just like a regular calendar and I'll put three things per day that I think are, I'm, you know, one of them would be my action posts. Like if I'm starting to promote something, then that's, I'll, I'll put that on the calendar. Then another one might be, you know, my add value content for that week. Um, so one day on Monday, I might put a YouTube link. Tuesday might be direct from phone. Wednesday might be Pinterest link you know, that kind of thing. So if you can start putting somewhat of a schedule together for yourself and be more intentional about it, then what my point is here is that you could easily each day just put a reminder for yourself, old crappy great content from six months ago, you know, like just pull up something that you thought was great back then. Um, there is a scheduling service called Edgar. It's not very cheap. It's like $50 a month. Um, I'm hearing great things about it and I just started to use it. Um, but I haven't gotten much, you know, feedback or anything. It's just for me still in the experimental phase. I don't know if I'll continue that or not, but, um, so yeah, there is, if people are using a service to do that and paying $50 a month for it, then yes, that tells me that it's a great idea to quit racking our brains and trying so hard to come up with new stuff when out of six months, I mean, I think honestly, if you've been a uh, fairly successful coach for six months, you've got enough content to recirculate just about every day. Yeah. I mean, how, really, how many times do we need to go to Google Images and look up inspirational quotes? <laughs> you know, and then you get sucked into Google Images and you keep scrolling because you're like, oh, that one's good. That one is really good. Oh, that one's even better. And then you want to make it your own. And so then you go over to your studio editor, right? And you make it look cutesy for you. And so there's another 10 minutes that you've spent. And then you post it and 30 seconds later, it's gone into the wind. You know, like, why are we doing that? So anyway, um, let me see. There was something in the chat. Okay, what are they, you know, why would you think that you should ask me, Kendra Carey, that question? You know, I don't know. I just pay for stuff. <laughs> I'll tell you in about a month after Kim looks at it for me. Um, okay, next thing on here. Let's talk about inviting to more than one group. Okay, so this is really messy to me and 
classic example was what we ran into um, this past week with the whole, you know, the monthly schedule and what we're inviting to. And I, to be quite honest, I had a talk with my upline today and um, the suggestion because I was saying, you know what, I just prefer, I personally, I prefer to invite people to a live business opportunity presentation and then if they can't make it, I send them the video. And for me, that works well. Personally, I really don't enjoy running sneak peeks. That's just me. I, it's one more group that I have to post in. It's by when, you know, if I don't schedule the post, which I really prefer not to schedule the post, I would really rather get a, a feel, a live feel from that group and be able to post live and tailor it to how they did yesterday and the day before and that kind of thing. Um, by Wednesday, I'm practically forgetting that I even have that group to post in. You know, like it's just hard for my personality to have that one more thing to do. I would rather invite over a period of 48 hours to one half an hour, one hour long event and call it done. And if it means that I have to do that once a week or even twice a week, I'm willing to do that because to, I connect more with that. That's just my personality. It, and so the point that she was making to me is that do what feels good to you. Quit doing the things that other people feel like is working for them because maybe it's working for them, but it, maybe it doesn't connect with you. And so if you don't want to invite to a sneak peek, don't invite to the sneak peek. If you don't want to invite to the live business opportunity, don't do it. Obviously you have to have one method or another that works for you and that you enjoy doing with your prospects, but don't feel like just because something is offered that you have to do everything. Allow yourself that freedom from guilt and feeling like you have to be everywhere all the time. As a team, I think it's very smart for us to offer our coaches one sneak peek a month and some live business opportunity presentations. Because like I said, there are different personalities that connect to different things. Um, for me personally, I'll probably be pulling back from doing sneak peeks because that's just not my thing. As, as long as I've tried to do it and offer that to people, we've got enough people on our team that can do it and are amazing at it that if we as a team want a sneak peek, somebody can step up and hold a sneak peek. You know what I mean? Um, I love doing the business opportunity presentation and I will gladly keep doing that even if it's only for one person that I invite because that's what I connect with. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm passing that on to you. I'm passing that knowledge, that freedom to do your thing. And don't feel like you have to do what your upline's doing, what your sideline's doing, what your downline's doing. Feel what is right for you and what you feel like your prospects connect with. Okay? The other thing just to consider in all of that is the timing factor. You know, like, um, it does get really overwhelming, at least to me, to be inviting to a sneak peek and a free clean eating and a challenge group all at one time. Because truthfully, I want to invite the same people to just about all of them. And I don't feel like I can invite them to all of those things. Now, could I then invite the same people to a clean eating group and a half an hour webinar? I would do that but I wouldn't invite them to a five or seven day sneak peek and a seven day clean eating group. Like that would just be too much to expect somebody to do. We tried on our team to combine the clean eating group with the sneak peek last month. Big fat flop. <laughs> would not recommend doing that. I thought it was going to be the greatest idea ever. Everybody can get into one group and they're going to lose weight and learn about the opportunity at the same time. That just did not fly because people didn't know why they were there. They were getting confused. So I don't know that I would recommend it or at least 
maybe you should do a better job than we did um, or I did. But that's kind of my thinking on the whole inviting for more than one thing at a time right now. My method is always to invite to the paid challenge group first. And if they're not ready for that, then I invite them to the free clean eating group. Because the, the situation, shh, that needs to be quiet, please. The situation that I don't want to get into is it's May the 5th, and I haven't hit Success Club yet. Do I want to be inviting people to a free group right now? I really don't. Like, I want to invite people to a stinking challenge group and get su Success Club. And then the second half of the month, I want to load up my free group so that they're ready at the beginning of the month to order a challenge pack. Make sense? That's the way I operate, whether that's right for you or not. I don't know. Um, let's see. Okay. Questions on inviting to more than one thing at a time. Um, you know what I will tell you? I think Kendra Carey had, <laughs> I always laugh calling you that, a great option when she was, when you were explaining how you responded to people you sort of gave them options. Would you explain that real quick? Because I still haven't done it, but I thought it was great. What, can you remind me? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think it was on the call that you were talking about your um, swap group. Okay. And when they would respond with some kind of interest, then it was, they, were, they were curious about the 21 day fix. You would respond to them and give them options as to here's what I've got going on. Yes. Yep. And here's a free group. Here's a real group. Whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's exactly that's exactly what I would do. Um, so somebody would contact me saying they're interested in the 21 day fix, and I would give them the information on it. And if they were kind of some of them were really solid on it, so I knew that. I would place them into a challenge group and I would tell them that that was going to be what would happen. And then others weren't so sure. So I would then present the opportunity to a free group for them. And then if they didn't take that, then I would just do the KL touch base in a couple weeks. But that's how I would do it. And I would also present my results at that time because that's kind of the hook, line and sinker, right? Is a picture of results. And Okay. So seriously, this is really, this is probably really bad to say. I never hear my results, and I should probably do that. So how do you fit that in? Because I, I don't know what to say when it, when, when it comes time for me to be like, hey, can I show you what I look like? <laughs> like, how do you say that? What I say is, I'm a coach who has completed the 21 day fix and here's my results. So I think people want to know that as a coach, you've completed the program, right? Okay. And then you can show them your results because I have a coach who made me take before and after pictures. <laughs> so I have those and that's what I put in the thread is here's my results. And then it usually goes from there where people are like, oh, wow, blah, 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 blah. And then you can just go from there. Okay. Now, I will say I, I tend to send results from my own. I've probably sent your results more than I've sent my results. So um, I guess I do that. I just need to start using my own sometimes too. Yeah. Okay. That's great. Thank you. Let's see. Okay, so Brittany, you do the same thing. And you've had lots of success too. So, okay. Well, and here's another thing. I, I personally, I stink at getting my, um, my results uploaded to the Beachbody Challenge page. And we need to be doing that. Guys, here's the thing. There are, so, there are people winning cash every single day. We need some of those winners on our team, don't we? I mean, we've got amazing success stories on this team. And I'm talking about all three power of three teams here. There's no reason that we can't have some of those winners on our team and be able to say, 
look, you actually win cash. And this is somebody who's on my team. You know, like we need to step up and be really taking that opportunity seriously. Wouldn't it be so freaking amazing to have one of our team members on stage at Summit in front of 25,000 people taking home a check for $100,000? Don't you think that would do something for your business? Obviously, it's going to change somebody's life in a major way. Um, so anyway, okay, that has nothing to do with this, but that's my little tangent for the night. Um, okay, well, thank you for sharing that. I appreciate it. Any other questions or, I guess, fears or concerns about how we're going to work in inviting to more than one thing at a time? We got to make sure that we're working from a calendar and that your strategy is scheduled. Don't feel like you have to do everything exactly the way your team does if it doesn't feel right to you. Obviously, there are reasons that I, as a coach, do the things that I do. So maybe if you're like, I, that just doesn't make a lot of sense. Maybe reach out to your upline and ask the thinking behind something. And then either A, it'll be more clear and you'll want to do it, or B, you'll be like, you know what, that's just not me, and I think I'm going to do my own thing. And I think your coach should be supportive of that personally. Um, okay. Here's what we're going to do next. We, I'm going to open up screen share, and I'm going to actually do something for you. Let me... Hold on, let's see. Here we go. Well, goodness, can I expand my screen a little bit more? Let's see. There we go, that'll be better. Okay, so I'm gonna go to YouTube and I'm gonna make sure once I get to YouTube that you guys can still see. Can you see that that's YouTube? Yes, okay, perfect. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is go to my YouTube channel now. Actually, I'm gonna go to Anna's, Anna Gray's YouTube channel because hers is pretty. And mine is not like hers yet. And I don't want you to feel like you're a reject if yours is not pretty like hers yet. Um, because you can be successful without a Hi, my name's pretty Anna Gray. YouTube channel. But she has her story that automatically pops up and starts playing. And she's got her nice banner here, which you can create on Canva or PicMonkey. And then um, down here, she has her playlist, okay? So my, my weight loss journey, quick tips, beach body coaching, join team victory all-stars, Coffee with Anna. Those are some of her playlists. But if you go over here to playlist, this is beautiful. It's very beautiful. Look at all this. She's got training for her team on PicMonkey. She's got all her Beachbody program trailers. So instead of us searching over and over for those links, or maybe you're, you got to turn that down, babe. Turn it down. Uh, maybe your prospect doesn't know what workout they want to do and they just kind of want to browse through them. Personally, I prefer that my prospects look at the YouTube videos rather than my website. Maybe that's different from what you've heard before, but for me, I try and keep them off that website until I give them the exact order link and they know right where they're going because I've had too many times where they will order their workout and Shakeology separately and it's not, it doesn't count for a challenge pack, or they'll just order their workout. Basically, they get on there and they do mischief. They do things that they're not supposed to do, right? So I keep them off. Um, and I use YouTube videos for everything. So what I have done personally this week is a couple different times, I have, if you click on... I'm going to show you how to do this one more time. If you just click on the Beachbody program trailers, um, and then you can pull this 
YouTube link right here at the top and just copy paste it into somebody's message, then that's going to pull up that whole playlist and they can go through these other videos on the side. Are you with me? Or if you wanted to, you could just copy this URL that has your, the list of your playlists depending on how many you have. And if there's other stuff on here, maybe this is too much and you wouldn't want to send them that because it might be too much for them. Um, the other one, so I think personally, if you're just gonna get, get started with this or organize the videos that you already have, saved as favorites or something, I would suggest one with the Beachbody program trailers. And another reason why I think this is great is because, <coughs> Excuse me, this last year, we've had lots and lots of trouble sending out that 21 day fix YouTube video. Facebook won't let us send the 21 day fix YouTube video. But if I send them my playlist of program trailers, then they can click on it and go right to it without any problem being sent on Facebook. The other one I think that is awesome is Shakeology. And so here's the great thing. Um, and this is what I did last night. I've already done it with Shakeology. I've already done it with Recommended Personal Development. She's got all kinds of audio books all on YouTube. Just a second, guys. Olivia, that's got to be turned off. Go to the other room, turn it down, turn it off. It's got to go. Thank you. Um, 21 Day Fix, I think, is an awesome category to have. And then, um, of course, I think my weight loss journey. Basically, you can go to put in Anna's YouTube channel, go and look at her categories and just start making those same categories because she is the organization master. Um, the other one that I was going to, let's see which one I want to, I'm going to show you exactly how to copy one, but I don't want to copy all of like her weight loss journey. So I'm looking to see if there's one. We'll do the 21 day fix food. Okay. So basically what I'm going to do is click on 21 What's day fix that? food. Okay. And then this is on Anna's playlist, right? You guys are still with me. I'm going to click add to, and then I don't have a 21 day fix folder yet. I don't have a, I don't have a playlist yet for the 21 day fix. So I'm going to come down here to create new playlist and put in 21 day fix create that video is automatically added to that playlist. Then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go right over here to her video number two and let that pull up. Hello. Turn it on pause so I don't have to hear it. Now, when I click add to, I can click on 21 day fix and it's added. And now I go to number three, and all you do is go to Anna's <laughs> YouTube channel and you add whatever you want. Because again, these are not her Welcome videos, but she's already done the hard part of looking for what's good. <laughs> there is no reason for us to spend more time than necessary. So What's here, that? while we're on this call, I've already loaded my 21 day fix folder, my playlist on YouTube, cauliflower crust pizza. Wouldn't that be handy to add, to send our playlist to our 21 day fix participants? You know, like seriously, that would be so great. So anyway, I think she's just, she's just great in terms of organization and making the most of, of your time. And um, now I'm addicted and I can't stop doing this. Sorry. Sorry. You guys might have to wait until I get through all of her videos. Um, okay. So I, now that I'm on this one, hold on. Now I got to click this one. I, it'll bug me. Okay. So does anybody have questions? about organizing your YouTube channel. Is anybody afraid of that still? Say yes if it's the case because I'll go over it again. I don't think I can see the chat in screen share. 
Oh boy, hold on. There's chat. Let's see. Okay, so how did Anna get it to say by Anna Gray? Okay, so here's um I don't know if this actually is going to answer your questions, um, but if you go to, this is great. Uh, let's see. Let me screen share again, okay? If we go over, let me get, I'm going to grab this video URL just to make sure in case we need it. Sorry, it's taken forever. Well, okay, here we go. So now we are going to go to the website vidkeeper.com. V I D K E E P E R. Vidkeeper.com. I think that's the site. Hopefully it comes up. <laughs> Oh, now, now would be the time that my Adobe Flash player is out of date. Of course, since I'm in the middle of a call. Let's see. Okay, so basically that's not going to work because I have a stinky Mac. Um, let me stop sharing again. Would somebody pull up VidKeeper and make sure that that's a legitimate site? Anybody, anybody, anybody? Or is it VidKeep? I think it's VidKeeper. No, it's not. Okay, well, I'm gonna find it because all it is, it's so easy. Um, I typed in vidkeeper.com and it came up like a list of YouTube video saves and stuff. I wonder if that is it then. Um, hold on, I'm gonna try it one, one more time. It's like a white page and it says vidkeeper.com up top and it says related links, YouTube video down. Um, wait a loader. Yeah, that. I just pulled up not not vidkeeper. Okay, that's not right it. There. Yeah, that's. I pulled up vidkeeper and it's, um, Project it's, management software. It's keep it says you could run your company without it's it, but vid. why would you? It's keep vid. Yeah, here it is. It's keepvid.com. Yes. What I pulled up was. Yeah, here it is. Okay, so it's keepvid.com. And then in the top bar there, you can, where it says enter, and then it has like a bunch of URL num letters or whatever, then you're going to copy paste that video that we just had. Let me go back to screen share because I'm on here. Okay, so I pasted the Autumn Calabrese video that we just had into this bar at the top. Now what I'm going to do is click the download button and of course, there's a sorry youth. <laughs> sorry, it's invalid. Um, of when I did it with a regular video that I wanted to, it, like the size video would be a great example of this. So you go find the Team Beachbody size video, you put it in here, then you can make it your own. So like I can actually put together me and Maddie doing size in combination with the Beachbody size video, I can have my um, website link on there. And that is how you'll see a lot of the coaches taking videos that it, you're like, but wait, that looks like a Beachbody video. It has that coach's name attached to it. That's how they do it is this or another website like this. Um, so anyway. That's some extra work that you may not be ready for right now, but I found that out recently and I was like, oh, that's awesome. I've wondered that for so long. Okay, any other questions tonight? The only other thing that I wanna say is um, live business opportunity presentation 
We are going to be doing next Thursday, so not this Thursday, but next Thursday, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, I have to apologize because this past week, and it just naturally comes out of my mouth, and it was laid into the presentation before I realized to catch myself, but I was talking team benefit, team benefit, and a third of you guys are not on team benefit. You're in the power of three group. So I apologize if you um, felt uncomfortable or had people on there and then had to explain afterwards about that. That was not intentional and I apologize. And when I do um, the next business presentation for our power of three, then I'm going to at least try to rein myself in from saying my team name so often. So um, anyway, I wanted to make that apology. But I am super excited about that and have gotten a lot of good feedback from that last business opportunity presentation and just how it is story based. And I think it'll just get smoother and more impactful every time that I'm able to go through that. So I'm really excited. If you have feedback or suggestions about maybe specific stories that you think, man, that would have been awesome if she had talked about that right there. I'm always open to um, critiques and improving things. So any questions before we wrap up tonight? <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> good deal, Cassie. That works for me. Um, and the video, the recordings are always there and, um, that's what I use honestly most of the time is the recording so that I, and that takes away one invite for me. I invite people just, you know, naturally, organically as I'm talking to them and I send them the video, the recording of the video way more often than I actually invite somebody to a sneak peek or to something live. That's just my flow. It works. It's just more organic and less stressful. Um, for me than inviting them to a specific time. But then I have to follow up and make sure that they're on at that time. And then I have to follow up and make sure that they understood. Where for me, I would much rather invite people every single day. Hey, do you think you would have any interest in hearing about my story and how um, this whole Team Beachbody thing works? Maybe they do, maybe they don't. But then I've had, you know, loads of people are like, yeah, sure, I'll listen to your story. And then I send them my business opportunity presentation and there you have it. So um, I definitely am open to working more on the whole story concept and digging into our stories and helping each and every person put that video together for themselves so that you have something that you're sharing from your heart and um, make it effective because I think, I really do think, and it, this also was affirmed, you know, confirmed to me in talking to my applying today that that's, that's my thing for the year. It's the story. And um, the more that we can insert our story into everything that we do, the more effective that we're going to be. So um, anyway, thank you guys so much. Sorry it went a little bit longer than what I planned, but I'm going to stop the recording.